I Drive SoCal is brought to you by the very best auto retailers from across Southern California. When it's time for you to buy or even just kick the tires on the idea of buying, just go to idrivesocal.com and click on dealers. idrivesocal.com, click on dealers and get connected. Now, on with the podcast. The Mullen Automotive Museum in Oxnard is my favorite car museum in Southern California and it is absolutely gorgeous. I would say 90 over 90 percent of the vehicles are french automobiles murphy auto museum had a really special event it was the vintage trailers and campers show even if you spend two three hours say at the mullen you're still going to have enough time to visit the murphy Welcome to I Drive SoCal, the podcast all about mobility from the automotive capital of the United States, Southern California. Tom Smith here with the professor, Mr. Clinton Kwan. Say hello, Clinton. Hi, Tom. Hello, hello. Today's podcast is about actually two museums, uh, one of them being the professor's a number one favorite of all time. In Southern California. In Southern California. Oh, there's a, there's a global museum that you like better? Well, there's a lot of other car museums around the world that I haven't been to, so I don't want to say okay, all over the world. When wow, there's this a lot guy is specific, let me tell you. <laughs> At any rate, the two museums are both up in Oxnard, yeah. and when you get a chance, you want to experience this day. And when I say when you get a chance, um, I, th there's an emphasis on the win you get a chance because not only does your schedule need to coincide, but the one museum, the Mullen museum is only open very rarely. And then the other museum that's five minutes away is the Murphy museum. Yes. And uh, I've not attended either. Um, but the professor has attended both, uh, numerous times, but he just had a jaunt up there, um, recently. And uh, he's going to tell us all about it because it's definitely, definitely a cool experience and something that you want to put on your to-do list. Professor, take it away. Yes, the Mullen Automotive Museum in Oxnard is my favorite car museum in Southern California, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the whole place is a work of art. Yeah. The cars are a work of art. French automobiles and... Exclusively French automobiles. Pretty much all French automobiles. They okay. do have some other vehicles, but... I would say 90, over 90% of the vehicles are French automobiles, or maybe even higher than that, maybe 95%. Okay. And, and, and all of them are Concorde Elegance level cars. Caliber cars. Right. Yeah. Just. Yeah. What I love about this car museum is that the cars are really spread out, so you can really enjoy the cars. And the reason I attended uh, this weekend was they also had a summer meetup. So a number of uh, automotive enthusiasts brought their cars. Uh, uh, so it was like a car show well. in the parking lot before you even got into the car museum. Correct. That's cool. Yeah. So they had a number of Porsches on display. There were some Ferraris, uh, Alfa Romeos, a uh, little bit of everything. Okay. Um, it was unusually uh, cold and windy. It was actually sprinkling a little bit. Yeah. Well. Even though it was uh, officially the first weekend of summer. So uh, we didn't spend too much time outside. We went straight right. into the museum, but there's so much to see inside. Sure. It's two levels and uh, there's also furniture, artwork, art deco furniture on display as well. Just a gorgeous location. Yeah. And every time I've been, there's different, they always have different cars on display. So this is something that's really well worth it. And it is only open two days a month uh, to the general public. They do take uh, uh, private, uh, they do have private tours that you can go on. Okay. It's, a, it's usually double the cost. Wow. Um, or more than double the cost. I think it's about $40 a person if you if you do, if you go on one of the private tours, if you make okay. a special. So, so the Mullen's a really special place. It's a really, really special place. And because it's only two days, uh, literally two days. Is it, is it a for-profit? Is it a foundation? Is it not for profit? Do, do the proceeds benefit some charity or how, how are they structured? Do you know? That's a good question. I don't you know. You just go there and drool a cars. Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. 
It's, All right. Well, if they're well, for profit and we're just like pumping the heck out of them, then you're welcome. And uh, <laughs> we, uh, we we hope some kind of reciprocal uh, love to be shared. But it is I, I, I haven't been there. I, I've, I've seen the pictures. I've heard the professor talk about it repeatedly. And it's definitely somewhere that that I have on my to do list to go check out. Um, yeah. That's He's the Mullen. Also- yeah, and he's also on the board of the Peterson Automotive Museum. In fact, on he the, being Peter Mullen. Oh, okay, Mr. Mullen. Yeah, yeah. there is a Mr. Mullen. Founder okay, of wow. the museum, and there's and he's on the board of the Peterson. Yes, that's interesting. Yeah. So this is a hardcore car guy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. In fact, there's a huge there's a there's a huge gallery on the first floor of the Peterson named after him, and they previously had a, an exhibit of uh, French automobiles. Um, that and those were the same cars from the uh, wow. Mullen. and now it's uh it's where the Porsche uh effect uh exhibition takes place as well at the Peterson huh all right so is um it's not a, is it on like a pri- old private estate or something or what what is it it is actually uh in the space of the former uh Otis Chandler a museum of transportation okay got that. Otis Chandler was the publisher of the LA Times of the LA and when Times. he passed away they auctioned off his cars. And for those of you who were lucky enough to visit the Otis Chandler Museum, uh, you know what a special place that was as well. This has been completely transformed. And uh, I was lucky enough to to uh, view those cars before they were uh, to see it they back were auctioned then. off. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Yep. All and right. uh, just wanted to let all of you know, there's also a uh, another private collection that's part of the Mullen in West Los Angeles, but you do have to be, from what I understand now, you do have to be a member. I forget the name, but I I was lucky enough to visit that um, that collection. I love it. The professor's before, talking about before <laughs> the, the car museum secret stash. Before they <laughs> that we've only heard about. We don't really know that before, it exists. I guess before they changed <laughs> before they changed the the requirements, and I got to go on a personal tour. So it was all. Um, I was the only person going on that tour that so time. so wait me you did see this collection it does exist for sure yeah oh okay yeah is the it's in west los angeles west los angeles yeah. is it an uh, undisclosed peter, location or uh it, it's in west los angeles uh i guess that's where peter mullen's office is as well and it it doesn't look like anything from the outside okay you step inside and it's it's something special okay and yeah. what, what, what kind of business is mr mullen in that i don't know okay <laughs> All right. So <laughs> at any a rate, huge automotive enthusiast, the big, big automotive enthusiast yeah. for sure. We know that. Um, so we have the Mullen in Oxnard and that's only open a couple days uh, a, month. a month. Yes. And so you can go to their website. It'll, it'll list the dates. Yep. I think they usually have all the dates throughout the year. Yep. And I highly recommend uh, making reservations online. Yep. And we recorded that podcast. And by the time we release this one, that one will be uh, uh, released as well, um, which is uh, all about the professor's top uh, top museums here in Southern California. In Southern California, yes. As part of our series of reasons why Southern California is the automotive capital of the United States as well as the world. Yes. So the Mullen happens to be number one. Um, so if you haven't checked out that podcast, check that out. But a- on that podcast, we also link to all those different museums. If this is something that really trips your trigger and you want to, you want to check out more into. Um, so, so the Mullen is up in Oxnard only open a couple of days a week. The, the other one, just a five minute, drive from the Mullen is the Murphy, the Murphy auto museum. And, and the professor did a a little one, two action here, hit both museums uh, on the same day. And, uh, tell us, tell us about that, uh, portion of your day, the Murphy. Well, the, the Murphy auto museum, I believe that's only open on weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, and this past weekend, they had a really special event. It was the Vintage Trailers and Campers show. So they had about 40 of those on display uh, outside and uh, in the in, inside of the museum as well. Okay. So I thought this, uh, and from what I read, it's one, if, if it's not the biggest show at the museum, it's one of their biggest shows. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for me to check out the museum uh, again 
Uh, I've been there a number of times. It's always a fun place to visit. They also have a, a model, a huge model train set inside. Oh, uh, really? Yes. So that's great for kids. Oh man, yeah. This is yeah. I'm our. It's definitely on the to do list with uh, with uh, Little Smith. Yes. Um, very again, cool. The highlight um, for this past weekend was the vintage trailers, and it was really really cool because every single one of these vintage trailers and campers had a different theme to it. There okay. Was one that had a Corvette theme to it, so that was really cool. Like. Corvette stuff was all it, over. Was it connected to a Corvette that would have otherwise been pulling it around? I but, didn't see a Corvette. Yeah, it'd yeah. be a little weird. <laughs> yes. You put a hitch on a Corvette. There's yeah. got. I think there's there, there's a law I'm, against I'm putting a hitch sure on a Corvette. Be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. That what other really themes? Cool sorry, to, sorry to cut you off. I had, uh, had some color there. Safari theme. There was one with um. There was another one that had leopard prints inside. <laughs> there was a greyhound a disco ball. Uh. A, a vintage Greyhound bus, and they converted that to a trailer. That was really, really cool. They had one they converted the, the the Greyhound bus to a trailer. Yeah. So then, what pulls that? No, no, it drives by. It's a okay. It's a tra- it's so a, they converted it to a yeah. It's like a trailer all by itself, right? And that one had the uh, and they even had these vintage um, board games on one table as well. That was really cool. Yeah, I saw the associate yeah. professor in front of. Uh, Oh, that was another, a little Scrabble game or something. Well, that was another one. Okay, that was another trailer with the sc- Scrabble. Okay. there was another one with vintage. I like that uh, picture games. though. We're gonna have to yeah. post that picture. Yeah, that was, I I really like that picture as well. Yeah, and yeah. and of course, like always, for any any of the pictures that associate uh, yeah. associated with the podcast, go to idrivesocal dot com yeah. on this particular post, and uh, you'll be able to check out uh, some of the pictures. Also, a cool way to enjoy the podcast is to go to idrivesocal dot com, listen to the podcast while you peruse the pictures and uh it's a nice way to experience the show um that you should really uh make your well in this case it's not a show it's museums yeah um but museums that you definitely want to put on your list um what else about the murphy i kind of jumped in cut you off there a little bit anything else to to point out before we uh put a bow on this one well uh, the the murphy uh features mostly american cars okay um there are some uh other vehicles on display uh, but it's 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 sort of um, a slice of Americana. And, yeah, um, m- you'll see muscle cars, uh, some classic vehicles. So did well. they have all of that there, as well as the the vintage trailers were were just kind of like a a, a, a temporary display for yes, for this correct. past. Okay. So I think what they did was they moved out some of the other vehicles on okay. the front part of the museum, and they brought in uh, trailers and campers as well. And then the back side of the museum, uh, they kept all the cars intact. Okay. Yes. So you can, but you could see everything. Yes, you can right. see everything. It was open. Yeah, open to everyone. And the Murphy has uh, a, a little bit of something for. Oh, you know what? Uh, on that note, back to the Mullen as well as the Murphy. Is there is there a fee to get in? What 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 uh, what do we what do we charge to Let's get in? Let's see. For the Mullen Museum, I believe it was around seventeen dollars okay. for adults and. For children, I believe it was somewhere around. Kids or less, twelve or uh, okay, twelve dollars or so. It's not free, but it's yeah. reasonably priced. Yeah. And then the Murphy, and then the Murphy. Uh, well, for the car show, it was since they had a special event, it was ten dollars for adults, and then uh-huh. for kids, it was free. Okay, yeah. And the Murphy has a little bit of everything, uh, but but also open, um, not all the time, not all the time. Uh, just weekends. And do you know, do the Murphy and Mullen communicate with each other and plan Uh, anything? I don't think so. So this just so happened that there was, yeah, the Mullen was open and the Murphy had something special. So boom. Correct. Okay. Very good. Yep. And yeah, there it's literally like about five minutes away. So, um, so if you're up in Oxnard, if you're, if you're you're hitting an automotive museum, if you're visiting the Mullen, cause that's, uh, most almost all the days that it's open general public Mm -hmm. it's going to be uh on a weekend so you might as well hit the murphy as well there are some times when it's open to the public the mullen on a weekday so you might not be able to hit hit the murphy but if you're going on a on a saturday or sunday i think those generally those are the days it's only open then you can definitely visit the murphy and they're not so big that you you're going to miss out on anything you got enough time 
Yeah. You know, a little l- well, late, late morning, early afternoon at, at, yeah. at the Mullen and then maybe finish it off at the Murphy after a lunch in between or something. Yeah. Uh, Make well, a nice little day of it. Yes. It, it, even if you spend two, three hours, say, at the Mullen, you're still going to have enough time to visit the Murphy. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Um, final thoughts? Good. Final thoughts? Uh, well, this is not a, a, a show that you would be able to see all the time. The, so, the vintage trailers? The vintage trailers. So, is it uh, gone now? Or, or I think they... The exhibit still goes on. Oh, okay. In terms of the actual show itself, um, that was a one day thing. But if you want to just go and check out some other vintage trailers and campers on display in the museum, you'll still get to do that. So they they will um, they are planning on doing this again next year. And just from walking around the show, I heard a number of people say, "Wow, this is so cool! Definitely it was definitely worth coming out." And they want to go back next year. Uh, right. So I think this is definitely one of their their biggest events of the year. All right. The biggest. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Professor, thank you as always for uh, sharing the passion for all things automotive. And, um, you know, in this case, a little, a little French, a little Americana, uh, a little off the beaten path up there in, in Oxnard. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. A and a really weekend getaway. Yeah. Yeah. A really nice, a really nice way to, uh, to spend a day. Enjoy driving while you go and, and check out, yeah. The history of driving. Take a dr- drive up Highway 1 along uh, Malibu. Exactly. Yep. Fantastic. Professor, thank you. Thank you for listening. As always, for I Drive SoCal, I am Tom Smith. Talk to you soon. Hey there. Still wanting more iDrive SoCal content? Just go to iDriveSoCal.com. From there, you can subscribe to our podcast and newsletter. And you can connect with one of our awesome car dealer partners to get yourself a sweet new high-tech wonder on wheels. And oh yeah, we always want to hear from you. So please connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. Or if you're not a big social media-ite, you can email us suggestions for stories, people, places, or events you think we should cover. Here's the address, media at idrivesocal.com. That's media, M-E-D-I-A, at the letter I, drive, D-R-I-V-E, socal, S-O-C-A-L, dot com. Media at idrivesocal.com. Thanks again for listening and definitely reach out with whatever's on your mind.